Hey everyone, welcome to another RT Weekly Vlog. This is gonna kind of be like a weekend vlog because this entire week I was just staring at my laptop. I had three videos to edit. Um, oh shit! Remind me later. I have to put the uh, members only video up and I can only do that from my laptop, which is super annoying. Gotcha. I had the vlog and then I had the members only video and then the main channel video. And I got them all done. By what was it? it was like Monday? No, it was Wednesday. I was gonna say it had that to I be got Tuesday. Them. I don't know what I what I was talking about with Monday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it was a pretty pleasant week of just editing, which I I feel like it only happens when I do projects that I really love, and obviously that makes sense. But anyway, so we're headed to Lowe's because I ordered a end table, an end table for what? I mean, you probably just could have said. Uh, we're headed to Lowe's because I'm not working and that's where we are when I'm not working. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Um, yeah, we're headed to Lowe's for, you know, we, we go to Lowe's every weekend. They have an affiliate program and I feel like I should sign up for that. I also got to sign up for the Michaels one. Anyway, we're going to Lowe's. No one's surprised. We're getting an end table uh, because Sean needs one and we're going to do the rainbow... Um, I don't know, if, I don't know how, what to call this or if you've ever seen it, but it's like the rainbow staining where you like stain it with a whole bunch of colors. Um, and it looks like a rainbow wood. Very cool. But we're going to do an end table and then we're also going to turn it into something else. And I'm, I just think that it's going to be great. I'm pretty excited for this project. And I thought it was really cool that Lowe's kind of offers unfinished things, mostly online. There was some stuff, mostly cabinets in the store but they do have some unfinished like sort of furniture that you can buy to stain yourself i love that so we didn't have to make an end table from scratch yeah. but we're still gonna make it like build it it's just gonna be all the correct pieces it's great it's i'm very out. yeah honestly um so that's what we're heading out to do and then we're gonna start building it exciting yeah. that's it that's it let's see what lows <laughs> I literally scanned that, the thing, and then this popped open on its own. Really? Yeah. That's, That's actually super cool. Yeah. All right, it's a little bit later, and oh, that clip that I took in Lowe's was like the coolest thing ever. So I, I ordered that table I was talking about online, and then I got this text when it was ready to pick up, and it said like, ready to pick up in a Lowe's locker. I had no idea what that meant and that she, someone in there directed us to this like wall of lockers right like in the entrance, like even before you get into the store. Um, and I like had this barcode on my phone and I was able to scan it. And then a, like the second I did it go beep and then a little door popped open on its own. And it was just the coolest thing and my table was in there. I feel like that's so cool. Um, anyway, so then we came home and we introed the video pretty great and now we've also got the side table all built so this is um what i bought and it came in a box and then we assembled it ourselves and it's all unfinished and perfect and ready for some rainbow colors so i, I have high hopes for this video and we're gonna do something i can't remember what i said earlier but we're gonna do something special for this inside part um so I think it's going to be a pretty fun video. And I, I see no room for, like, you know, crazy error, yeah. right? Obviously, I always leave room for a little bit of frustration in every video that we do. Um, but it's, I'm pretty excited for this. Yes. I think this is going to be really cool. The only thing is um, the side table is a, probably <laughs> a little too short. It might look a little funny next to the bed because I think the bed's going to be a bit taller than the side table, but it's fine. It's better than the stack of boxes that you've got going, right? Yeah. Like when you put it on the floor, it looks pretty short. It looks pretty short, but our bed is lower than this table too. Well, yeah, I know. It just, I don't know, maybe it'll be fine. Maybe it'll be like level with the bed. I don't know, but I'm happy that we were able to intro and then put it together. Yes. Um... And Miranda's on her way here, and I think her and I are going to go, 
like Halloween decor hunting. I'm um, going to see if any of the Spirit Halloween stores are open yet. Um, and I want to kind of check out Home Goods if I didn't already say that. <laughs> anyway, so we were going to go do that. And I don't know, should I turn that into a whole separate video? Because last year I did Halloween hauls. Like I, I made separate videos for all the Halloween decor that I found. Um, and I showed you guys and I told you how much it was and like where I got it. So I was kind of thinking of doing something like that and making them like separate vlogs. So I don't know. I might do that. I'm doing it. No one can stop me. So while Miranda is on her way, I did get these in the mail. <laughs> and so I've had AirPods. I mean, I, actually, I don't know how long I've had. I've had AirPods this whole time. And I'm going to be honest. I hate them. I don't understand the hype um, around AirPods and I feel for me my experience was um, they constantly die. Mine die in like two hours maybe and then they all they so when you put them in they sort of like magnetize in there and then they are supposed to charge like in the little case. Mine like don't charge maybe one will charge and the other one just stays dead. Um, the case itself dies with like one charge of that ear. I just hate them a lot. Um, so I'm going to try these. These are the Beats. Um, Beats Fit Pro. And I got the purple ones, obviously. Look how cute. Ah, wow. So hopefully, because, you know, I, I, when I edit, I'm obviously, you guys saw my desk set up and I sit next to Sean and he's on the phone with people. Um, so I need headphones and like I need really good ones so that I can hear the sound and the sound quality for the videos. And I know I'm trying to justify things that you guys are like, shut up. You, it's fine. Look how cute they are. Sean, look, there's lavender. lavender. They're freaking lavender. Look how adorable Whoa. they are. Isn't that cool? Oh, those are really cute. I feel like these are going to be so much nicer because AirPods are like, they're just all hard plastic. Besides the little thing, you know, the squishy thing that goes into your ear. But this part is also squishy and rubbery. So I feel like it'll grip my ear a little bit better. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go run to the bathroom and clean out my ears really quick. I don't want anyone to see my ear wax. <laughs> don't look at it. Don't look. All right, I'm back, and we're gonna try out these headphones, earphones, whatever. This is the right one. Oh, it goes into that little pocket thing in your ear. Oh, oh. so the little nubby thing goes into like here, right? Yes, I think that's the idea. Whoa, okay. Give it. Did you get your earwax on it? Oh gosh, sure. it came off really easy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hi. Yo. thought I would try these because I hate AirPods. Okay, I have trouble putting these back in. <laughs> you thought it would be easy. <laughs> Didn't you? Where's, okay, so there's like a little indent down there. Oh, these bend a lot. I told you it was difficult. <laughs> what the hell? Hi. Yeah, but this time we're going to say Halloween Edition. hunting. Ha Halloween hunting. <laughs> That's it. Let's go. <laughs> Those are the coolest sunglasses I have literally ever seen. Really? I feel like they look really small on my face because I lost my other ones. No, well, you have a small head anyway. I, I feel, feel like, like they're perfect. it makes my head look even smaller. Oh, uh, no. Creep. Oh, my God. They're cute. They're hella cute, especially if you have them, like, on the end of your yeah. nose. And See, you if they them. always fit your head a lot better than mine because you have, like, head. the perfect head shape. Well, was like circle yeah but i feel like that works perfect for glasses but like narrow heads <laughs> just doesn't work no it just doesn't i don't know what glasses fit my head anymore starting see what, to uh, halloween i love see what we find. <laughs> he's taking a picture of a disgusting bug probably to show me later <laughs> 
He's trying to get across because in these rocks over here, we spotted two red flowers. And I just want to know what they are. <laughs> nice. Oh, I bet he's doing the plant identifier, like on iPhone or whatever. By the way, it is the next day. Yeah, I don't think I've talked to you guys yet today. Um, and we were about to start working on the next part of the um, end table video. And we're going to later, but I have like debilitating migraine this morning. We ended up not working this morning and kind of just had to sit and hang out for a bit <laughs> and just chill and like wait for it to go away. And it has, I can just, I still can kind of like feel it. So if I do anything too crazy, I it'll definitely come back. So I'm just kind of <laughs> making sure that it won't come back. So we're just sitting and screwing around at the river. Um, I have lipstick all over my face. <laughs> I have found a rock to sit on and um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Recovering from waking up with migraine by sitting on a rock in the river. It's also like 20, 20 degrees cooler than it was any of the days last week. Last week was like the most disgusting week as far as temperature. It was like in the 90s and like a hundred. And it's, it's like when it's that hot here, it's muggy, like it's wet and sticky kind of hot. And today is a high of 75. So yeah, I broke out my Halloween sweater and I'm ready. I'm fully ready. Oh, so yesterday I did go Halloween decor hunting <laughs> with um, Miranda and Jacob. Jacob met up with met up with us. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's the 13th. So a couple more weeks. I mean, I could decorate now. I just don't want to push it on <laughs> the rest of the house. There are three or four uh, crocheted Crocheted, I thought he was going to fall, <laughs> crocheted pumpkins on the kitchen table, three of which I made. So that's kind of the only thing that's out right now. I also still need to go to um, our friend's apartment that was our old apartment that still has some of our stuff in the storage to grab Halloween. Yeah. We still need to do that. Actually, yeah, I'm going to text him and <laughs> see because it would be nice to grab it and see what I have. All right, so we actually did go down to the shop and cut those pieces of wood. I can't remember if I told you specifically, um, but we're doing something, like we're putting something extra on that um, side table. We had to go in and cut some pieces of wood with the jigsaw. And now we're outside sanding the edges because um, when you use the jigsaw, it kind of creates super jagged edges. So we're sanding them. <gasps> A hole in my sock. Can you even believe it? Okay, anyway, yeah. So I'll actually, I'll show you the pieces. So we have one with a hole in it and then we've got four sides. What do you think we're doing? That looks fine. Is the corner pointy? Feel mine. After this, we're gonna go back in and staple gun them. Another new tool. It's not an electric one, but still, I'm like terrified of it. I'm more scared of it than the jigsaw. Even though I like, why doesn't the jigsaw have a safety button? Okay, I'm gonna give you a little glimpse, a little sneak peek, because I know I haven't been telling you what the like secret part of this was gonna be. So I'm just gonna flash it and you can, you know, you can um, toss your guesses down in the comments if you would like to. Anyway, we're done for the day, thank goodness. And the next step for that is to actually do the rainbow staining, which I'm very nervous about, but I'm pretty happy that we were able to do all the things that I really needed Sean's help for, um, which is like all the cutting and the stapling and putting things together. And now we can just 
um, do like the, you know, painting the stain on there. Anyway, we're going to head upstairs, probably figure out dinner and things like that. Nobody's home. I think I already told you. Obviously, I love everybody. I know Ricky watches, <laughs> watches my vlogs. I love everybody. But it is nice being the mega queen introvert that I am when the house is empty. The sister makes lipstick on my chin. Whoa. I look like I've been making out with somebody. <laughs> no, it's all right. I actually um, want to show you my bird of paradise plant because she is thriving. She is loving life. Let me show you. Yeah, so it was these six leaves when I first got it. And then we got this leaf. Beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. And then now this one. I, I can't even get it all in frame. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. The entire frame. So stunning. She's so beautiful and so happy. I'm so proud of her. And that's that. Sean's arugula. This is what it's looking like now. We got a bunch of guys. <laughs> All in one, do you guys remember, we, we like poked holes in it and then he planted. So he obviously dropped a ton of seeds in two or three of them. And then just two, one, one. There, there were more in some of the other ones, but I took them Oh, out. right. Yeah. Cause yeah. you're supposed to do that. Sean's failed experiments. Well, are they officially failed? I mean, that one is. This one is officially failed, unfortunately, which is kind of strange because it's the one where I followed the directions the most. <laughs> so these are little cuttings of a grapevine that Sean found next to the river. Yes. Right? I just want to propagate the grapes or the grapevine. So in this test tube, <laughs> this is what one of the leaves looks like. And this is the best uh, situation that he's had so far. He's just trying to get some roots to grow out here. That way he can plant it. But that's what it's looking like. Yeah, we've got it on the windowsill. Hello, ma'am. What's going on? <laughs> I saw somebody say that they missed me because I haven't shown her in a while. Um, kind of asking how she's been doing. How you doing? What's going on? I got her a little cat bed to go on top of our desks. Excuse how ridiculous this looks. Um, but yeah, we got her a cat bed to put on my desk because she was always just like running around at our feet. And I felt so bad and she always tried to like jump up. Yeah, so I got her a cat bed to put on the table. That way she could lay there while we're both working. And she loves it. She like sleeps in it during the day like you guys just saw. Do you want to come downstairs? What do you think? Stinky. There she is. Nice. Wow. What are you doing? What time is it? Nine. <gasps> An hour past foodsy time. My goodness, Mio. You're about to get the foodsies. You think that's too evil? <laughs> <laughs> Mio! So you shall come down to eat it. I got you your foods. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Mio. She's not coming down. No. She'll come down when she gets irritated. Yeah. Wow, the colors in here right now are very pretty. Yeah. Um, but she did come down. Took her a minute, but she came down. I'm so proud. She's not even looking at us. She does not Like, care. shut up. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> All right, tis the next day, and uh, today is Sunday. And for whatever reason, I have chosen Sunday to be sort of like, the whole beginning of it is kind of like, self carry, Um, and I work out in the morning and I've been doing this for ever, like every Sunday for like a month now. I know that doesn't sound like that long, but still. So I do like an hour workout every Sunday in the morning and then I take a shower. 
and I wash my hair and I blow dry it and then I get really sad about <laughs> the fact that there's no color in it anymore. This is like all my natural hair color besides, you know, brownish, very dark brown color um, from, you know, the bleach being in there forever ago. Uh, but yeah, it's mostly my natural hair color now. And it kind of makes me sad. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's all the self-care stuff, being sad about my hair. No, uh, I wash my hair and then I blow dry it and it just feels very good. It's like a really nice reset every week. So anyway, that's my, that's been my Sunday and it's just, it's every week I'm like, this is nice. Why wasn't I doing this before? All of those things were done and now I'm back down in the studio and... I'm going to work on this thing that I flashed to you yesterday, um, but I have all of these, all these different colors of unicorn spit, and if you know what unicorn spit is, then you might already know what I'm going to do to this. <laughs> did I already tell you? Wait, I did. I told you something about the rainbow, but the part that I didn't tell you was the, the weirdness on the bottom. That's what I didn't tell you. So yeah, the unicorn spit is to stain this thing rainbow and I'm super nervous so I think what I'm gonna do is flip it over because the top piece is the same wood as the bottom piece so I figure uh, on the bottom if I flip this over on the bottom I'll be able to test all these different colors and see sort of like how I want to do this if I want to I think I'm gonna water them down because I don't want it to be like super obnoxious like very vibrant I want it to be sort of like it looks like rainbow wood. I still want to see like sort of the wood grain underneath. Like I'm going to follow the wood grain, but I was, I, I think I'm just going to water it down because I think that'll look really cool and make it look like, oh, is that rainbow wood? Because I think there is, isn't there a tree, some kind of like tropical tree or something that has rainbow wood? Give me one second. The rainbow eucalyptus tree. Found mainly in Hawaii, the Philippines, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea. Eucalyptus digalupta trees. Digalupta trees. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. Otherwise known as rainbow eucalyptus trees are one of nature's most beautiful natural wonders. Um, yeah, truthfully. This is what one of them looks like, I think. I mean, hopefully this is... You can look this up for yourself if I'm, if I'm wrong. But this, these look like... Anyway! Good God. <laughs> that's kind of the sort of theme that I'm going for is the rainbow trees but made into a table and not rainbow trees oh we started last night working on the Shopify um, site that I'm going to sell the skeleton hand mirrors on and it's gonna take me a minute because I I have um, logos and banners made you know every once in a while just to like update things and like you know my style kind of evolves I think annoyingly I'm gonna have to um not annoyingly it is pretty fun to do but I think I'm gonna go on Fiverr and cause that's my go-to so I think I'm gonna have like a new logo made and I'm pretty excited because I have an idea that I think is gonna be super cool and very like up to date me and I, and then I think I'm gonna take that and another design for merch and then also beanies I want to do beanies but yeah I think I'm gonna get it anyway that's that's my whole spiel about possibly getting a new uh, logo made and also using it for merch and I'm very excited about it so anyway I'm I'm stalling now to be honest because I'm nervous about this I gotta go get a whole bunch of cups and water it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna flip it over. Like you're not gonna see the bottom. It's a perfect idea to test on the bottom before I do it on the top. You can't even see it. You're just bowing in the dark. Bowing in the dark with the smell of my fart swirling. You around. farted? Yep. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It on camera is insane. In in <laughs> it's insane, dude. <laughs> I was going to say insane and then insanity. Yeah. But look at that. Oh my god. <sighs> Do you think I could tell the vlog about our neighbor? It's not like he's ever going to see it. And it's my vlog. I can do whatever I want. There's nothing against me telling you about our super annoying neighbor. I won't tell you right now. Sean Paul for 
<laughs> now I'm going to check with the rest of the house and make sure that I can tell you guys about our neighbor and there's nothing that I don't know about. You know what I mean? You know, you know. Um, but we have a really annoying neighbor situation that just um, increased my blood pressure. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably going to end this vlog here because <laughs> uh, it's Sunday and I edit the vlogs on Monday. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure you give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel and my regular art channel. Follow me on Instagram, Pinterest. Pinterest. Follow me on Pinterest and TikTok. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. We've got merch. This is what it looks like. I'm going to be adding to it soon. I'm pretty excited. You can become a member of the Artsy Mad Woman channel. I actually just uploaded a members only video last week. So now there's two. Whoa. I still have to figure out, uh, <laughs> I still have to figure out streaming. I do want, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's just a hurdle that I have to get over. And once I'm on the other side, it's going to be amazing and awesome. And I'm just, I'm going to get there. It's just taking me some time. Plus, I have to, like, figure out how it's going to work, like how to hook up my camera to my laptop and all of those things. So, anyway, you can become a member by clicking the link down in the description. I think the link to the merch is also down there. Everything's, everything is down there. Oh, I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. What are you doing in the corner? You're like the um, Blair Witch.